Hello, today we are going to demonstrate how to install a brand new hard drive with no parti partitions or anything on it. So first things first, you have to have a Phillips screwdriver like this one I have in my hand, Phillips head, and that's usually what um, most computers use. First you um, take off the, the cover which sometimes they have screws and sometimes not. This one happens to have screws on the case. So I will take them. You slide the cover off as so. And right now, here, get the camera over here. All right. As you can see, there's a lot of twists and wires. What you're gonna need for this is, of course, your hard drive, which, should be brand new, or if you're just putting an old one in, just uh, transfer files, that's fine too. You're going to need a SATA cable if it's a SATA hard drive. If not, this video will not help you. So, if you're already on here with an IDE, IDE cable typed um, hard drive, you can turn off the video now. Alright, so this case is a little bit complicated. So, Hang in, your case will probably be a little bit easier with installing a hard drive. On this case, there's a screw here where you unscrew. You take out the screw. Make sure to keep all your screws in the safe place because you're, need, you're need, gonna need to put them back. Then you lift it up as so and take it out carefully without breaking any wires or anything. So you're gonna need a SATA there has to be a SATA power wire as well on your power supply. So, put the new hard drive in. You put the connectors facing up and you slide it in as so and you just place it just like this. And then you have to here bring the camera around here. You have to make up make sure all these screws the holes are lined up so you could put the hard drive in. You could put anywhere from one to four screws. All I have is is two screws but you could put four because there's two two slots on the other side as well then you place this in this is a little tricky because you have to line it up oh I got it okay now, you put back the screw that I took out, and now your new hard drive is inside the case. Now, for your SATA cable. This basically brings the information brings the information from the hard drive to the motherboard and so you could like you could bring information back from your computer so here zoom in on here there will be SATA connections on your motherboard as so you might not have enough but if you don't this video isn't going to help you so kind of sucks Alright, so mine has six SATA connections. It's you have to make sure you plug it in. As so. And you could either route it on top or just route it through. I'm just routing it through for neatness. If you don't have to do this, this is I'm just doing it. So, and you plug it into the smaller of the SATA connections on your hard drive. So, just like that. Then you plug in your power, just like that and that is how you do it on this type of a uh, case so now it is time to just put on back the cover 
plug in everything that you had and you should be good and that's it. Thanks.